on the the Paralympic side of things, it's actually pretty different because, uh, well, not significantly different. We focus on the little things as well, but we do have a little extra on our plate as far as I'm an amputee. So my equipment plays an extremely large role into that versus able-bodied athletes can kind of already just, you know, they they will just grab their shoes, their spikes. So I have to focus on, okay, my running blade versus my jumping blade. Which one am I like, okay, do I like how this blade feels? Is it too, st is it too stiff? Is it too soft? Is the angle correct? Is this an optimal angle to push me forward? Is this going to push me up? Um, so there's a lot of science that goes behind it and it's finding the right prosthetist can be very hard. I, I like to tell people finding a prosthetist is like dating because you just got to go through them until you find the right one and, and you stick to that right one because he will get you right or she, but, um, I, my current prosthetist is Peter Harsh. So a prosthetist for those of you who don't know is, is somebody who will create a prosthesis and that is what goes on my limb and allows me to run walk jump all of the above so having the right equipment is the biggest thing because it is what makes me mobile so without my prosthetic i can't do anything so i can't focus on the mental side of it i can't focus on any of the other things unless i have everything else on this side set so i think that's a a huge role that plays into it and uh, having the right equipment and, and having it set up perfect, just kind of, all right,